this little nug and I have our first mommy daughter audition today. How do you feel about it? That's how she feels. She wants to um, cut my neck off or my head off. Anyways, are you ready? We're gonna kill it, huh? Uh huh. That's what that was. Uh huh. Shut up, mommy. This is my time. So that was about a month ago that I got to take her to our first audition together and that was pretty freaking cool. But today I'm here to talk to you about my first audition ever because it was an absolute disaster and so I feel like I can encourage someone with my disaster. So it's the day before the audition. I get an email saying that I have an audition for Target. Target you guys. Target. It's the freaking dream and I'm so stoked and I'm so nervous and I'm like what do I wear the description that they give me for what they want me to wear is like hipster super free spirit vibes they give you the weirdest descriptions for what they want you to look like like the other day I got a description that was like hippie hipster Portland unicorns and salsa sprinkled in the middle something weird like that so you have to decipher what that even means and I'm like what does this even mean so I talked to my friend end up talking about why I'm doing this in the first place which really calms me down and reminds me to pray about the next day instead of freaking out about the next day so I'm praying I even ask God tell me what to wear because I don't want to be thinking about this I just want to be focused on what you want me to do so putting together my outfit and I really feel like I need this necklace you know that last little piece that's like gonna bring it all together it was this necklace it's not even my necklace I call my sister-in-law and I'm like hey can you bring the necklace and she's like shout thing and I'm like cool and I'm like don't forget the necklace don't forget the necklace don't forget the necklace I really need this necklace so get to the audition there's so many people there and I'm like oh my god oh my god there's so many people here and then I look on the wall and it's like the commercial is shooting next week and I'm like what what did you guys read this how are we supposed to get off of work in that amount of time like oh my goodness it's next week so then I get into the audition room and I'm like fidgeting around I'm swaying back and forth and the casting director is like excuse me can you please stand still and I'm like dang it yes sir sir yes sir and then he's like okay I'm gonna ask you guys some questions about yourself super casual and I'm like I don't want to answer questions about myself are you kidding me I'm so awkward I'm so awkward what am I gonna say so he starts going down the line, asking great questions, really. Like, he asked one girl, if anywhere in the world you can go, where would it be? And she's like, India, I just love the culture and the people and all the colors. And I'm like, wow, that's a great answer. And he gets to me and he's like, that's a really cool necklace. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, my friend makes them to, like, travel around the world, places like India yeah it's not even mine yeah and he's like okay well um you look pretty active do you play any sports sports do I play any sports I don't know do I play any sports I mean in high school I played sports I mean like I do volleyball and like cheerleading but is cheerleading even a sport will you consider that a sport I think it's a sport um no he's like okay well you look pretty active do you do anything I watch kids I mean like I'm not a creep or anything I literally threw my hands up in the air and said I'm not a creep or anything so anyways then he's like okay well I'm just gonna throw on some music you guys can dance just act like nobody's there and I'm like okay I can do that. I'm really good at that. Oh, hey. Hi. 
I'm like, okay, I can do that, no problem. I can dance like nobody's there. I got that down. So I do that, and then I walk out of the room, and I'm like, wow, that was a disaster. But the girl that was in the room with me that had the great answer about India stops me and is like, hey, those necklaces your friend makes, is it for missionary work? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I just got back from a mission trip. So then we start talking about mission trips and church and all this great stuff. And then before we leave, she's like, can I pray for you? And I was like, um, yeah. So she starts praying and she's like, I pray that you would direct her steps and I pray that she would be a light in this dark industry and I thank you God for sending more and more Christians out here to love on people. All of these things that I never told her that she prays over me and I was like, are you kidding me? All of this because of this necklace that I really felt like I needed to wear and I was just like, wow, this is what I'm here for. This is it like to build relationships to love on people even if i fall flat on my face and i look like a complete idiot my mission was accomplished for the day and that was amazing all that to say if you're trying something new if you're going out on a whim if you feel like god is telling you to do something and you go for it and you fall flat on your face it's okay it can still be used you can still learn i've learned so much from that you guys, not even a year later, I was working with Jessica Alba. I worked with The Weeknd. All of this stuff happened because I didn't give up. I kept going. I kept falling on my face. That wasn't the only time. I've yet to get another Target audition. I'm still waiting for the day to redeem myself. But you guys, don't give up. Keep going. It might be hard. It might be scary. And you will guarantee it. You'll fail. But... You never know what can happen. So just keep going. Don't give up. I hope that encourages you this week.